I'll be your commentator uh, this afternoon. Uh, my guest this afternoon for this actual final will be Roman Ramelingon from France. Hello. Hi, nice to see you here, or uh, bonjour, I should say. Bonjour. Uh, yeah, ça va? <laughs> ça va, ça uh, va. Je, je, Everything's all right. Yeah, je parle français un peu. <laughs> uh, which, for those of you listening, is I speak French a little bit. Uh, Rory McAllister and Roman Ramelingon, there's our names for you. You're, we're your commentators for this final. Uh, we've got a nice rowdy crowd in as as well for uh, this particular final in the hall as the athletes are introduced out to the front. Our announcer Jamie Stangroom just running through the, fi the finalists now and we'll run for uh, through them for you in just a bit more detail in just a second. So if you've been with us earlier today, first of all thank you very much for joining us for this live coverage of this World Cup. We're also going to be on air tomorrow and also on Sunday, Monday, and then the final day of competition next Tuesday uh, for this WSPS World Cup. Delighted to be here as well. It's very nice to be back in Munich. It's been four summers since I was here. I was last here in 2018 for the ISSF World Cup here in Munich. Memorable experience that was too. The weather was just as good. Uh, just speaking of temperatures at the moment, actually, it's been a nice day here in Munich. I mean, most of us inside the final hall haven't seen the sun. Uh, but it does help, of course, when you do out to nip to, for something to eat or go to the loo. It's a cool sort of 25 degrees Celsius outside the finals hall as we uh, just complete the introductions from our announcer before we go into the sighting time. So the chief range officer being told to uh, telling the athletes to take their positions. There's our jury member in charge. The final of the P3 25 metre digital event consists of 10 series of and Jörg Kropp of Germany, the home nation, is our chief range officer for this final. Jan Olaf Olsen of Sweden is our jury member in charge. So here's how it works then with the 25 metre mixed pistol final. We'll have our first elimination after four series. So, Roman, you would be competing yourself, <laughs> but there was a slight mishap at the airport. Tell yes. us about that. Uh, I was supposed to, to shoot today, but uh, as my luggages were lost at the airport, uh, so I'm here in the visitor, <laughs> in spectator, and uh, that's, uh, that's why I'm here, I'm here to comment with you this uh, great final. I would have liked to, to be able to, to shoot this final, but unfortunately, this is uh, what happens. So uh, maybe more, uh, I'll be more lucky uh, for the next competition, I hope. And uh, I hope also that uh, the flight company uh, <laughs> won't be uh, so unlucky too. And make some sort of reimbursement as well. So we've just seen the qualification stats uh, on your screen there. They've literally uh, just been up a, a few moments ago uh, on how it finished in qualification. So eight athletes in this final. Um, you've got invested interest in this because we do have a French shooter yes. uh, on firing point G. Uh, they're just going through uh, their sighting time at the moment. So they practice and rehearse just uh, by raising their arm. I kind of like his hat. That's a very good uh, bit of style there. We cannot miss him. <laughs> Exactly, it helps. <laughs> uh, so, Roman, you're obviously hoping to compete later on in the week, then? Yes. Yeah, the competition. Okay, right, great. Well, let's uh, let's hope that that all gets uh, sorted out for you. Uh, so you can see uh, the nice shot there of the finals hall here at Munich. There's uh, Ghislaine Briez, the technical manager of this competition, sitting down at the front uh, with the white hair and the blue top. We have three now. athletes from India, and here's the first. Here's Nahal Singh uh, from India on firing point A. And once again, you see the very traditional stickers on the handle of the rifle there. There again from Stefan Amaka from Switzerland on firing point B. Just got to make sure that those stickers don't get too many. You don't want to go over regulation. There's Izzy Bailey from Great Britain. Izzy Bailey, who competed at both the Tokyo and Rio Paralympic Games. 
Here's Rahul Jakar. He was a Tokyo Paralympic game finalist as well, so he knows his way around a finals hall. It was a much grander setting as well. I mean, if you saw some of the coverage at, at Tokyo, I was out there at the Olympic Games. It was a, a temporary structure that we were in. It's absolutely massive. It was huge. Here's Leski Denisuk of Ukraine. They're leading the medals table at the moment with a gold, silver, and bronze. So. If Leski can get into the medal positions, that'll up that tally even more. Here's Sinraj. We kind of like this, just with one name, a bit like a Brazilian footballer or Ronaldo. Just going by the one name, it's fantastic. Like an idol. <laughs> yeah, a silver <laughs> and a bronze Paralympic uh, medalist in Tokyo as well. Uh, here's Gail Idon from France, who no doubt Roman next to me will be cheering for. Yeah. In a very unpartisan way, of course. <laughs> And here's Epson Jensen of Norway completing the lineup. So there we have it. There's our lineup of the eight athletes. Uh, Romain, maybe a daft question, but who are you going for in this final? Who's your tip for the medals? The tip for the medal for me, um, I will also uh, support, of course, my teammate uh, Guy Lelon. But um, I think that uh, during the, the match, uh, and especially during the uh, no. rapid fire um, uh, series, uh, we have been able to see that uh, uh, Singraj has made a very great uh, series in the rapid fire. And uh, I think that uh, his good uh, chances to, to get uh, onto the podium uh, for this final. So we have it from the lips of the expert, Roman, who's uh, not been competing up until now because he's luggage was lost so we're <laughs> just hoping that the airline uh, can sort that out for you and you can get going as soon as possible uh, either way that would be nice to have you back in the in the commentary seats as well it's it's, it's great to have you here with us uh, for this live coverage of the 25 meter mixed pistol final here on day one of munich 2022 wsps world cup very excited to get going and this will conclude our day and our coverage for the day as well for the cycling series Ready. So there we go, Chief Range Officer calling ready for the sighting series. It's about to get a bit noisier. I do love this event though, it's my it's it's my favourite event and I know I shouldn't say I've got favourites but <laughs> But you can. <laughs> yeah, I mean for me just it, you can really feel something happening. Yeah. This is some kind Attention. this is more like energetical sport because it's uh, um moving, uh, there's no uh, noise. Something. Yes. And uh, <laughs> there, and it's like it's like the Wild West, yes, <laughs> <laughs> but in Munich. <laughs> we can see all these shooters that have three seconds to move up the arm, to lift up the arm with the uh, the fire gun uh, into the hand. They have to <laughs> they're uh, sighting uh, um, to, uh, to to be able to to shoot one bullet in three seconds and uh, <laughs> until the end of the of the magazine so this is very difficult to, <laughs> to do such a, a thing for uh, for many shooters uh, also with uh, several handicaps uh, and that's why this is really sport and the uh, finals are in uh, rapid fire mode because uh, this is uh, spectacular and that's what we want Oh, there's a hand raised by UC Bailey from Great Britain. She has she has an incident, which uh, during the final there is only one incident allowed, uh, which uh, consists in uh, a check by the uh, the jury who has to see if uh, a uh, technical uh, problem that is uh, on the rules uh, can allow the incident, which means that uh, she would have to uh, uh, maybe to, to repair or change her gun, uh, or she will have uh, another series to complete uh, what has been done. So we just saw some of the regulations around this final. 10.2 equals a hit, so we're not necessarily going on scores like we would do in a 10-meter pistol or rifle final. Uh, maximum weight of 1.4 kilograms uh, for your pistol. 
If you get a 10.2, if the computer, the target, the CS targets that we're using deem to be 10.2 or higher, that will class as a hit. So the chief range officer calling attention as well. There's slightly different commands as well in the 25 meter uh, than you would get in. <laughs> so hopefully you can hear us over the firing. We'll we'll try not to talk too much as the athletes are shooting. To give a, a little idea of the 10.2. Uh, it represents an area of eight and a half centimeter. And yeah, from 25 meters away yeah. as well. <laughs> In three seconds. <laughs> In three seconds. <laughs> Easy. Yeah, <laughs> of course. <laughs> no, that's why they're down there and I'm up here. So. So you see when the lights are green, there's a hit. So 10.2 and more. And when it's red, it's 10.1 or less. So that's the end of the first series in this particular final. And with four hits, Izzy Bailey of Great Britain leads the way at the moment. Uh, the Indian shooters, though, right hot on their heels. Uh, three points apiece there. Uh, still early days. And as Roman's been explaining, this is fairly quick stuff as well within three seconds uh, to take uh, each shot looking for a 10.2 or above over the space of an eight and a half centimeter area uh, to class as a hit. And uh, as Romain was just explaining to us, it's green or red, really. You want as much green as possible. Yes. Green is good. And we can see between each series, uh, shooters have to, to prepare their magazines to be ready for the, seri for the series uh, uh, coming because uh, when the jury says uh, ready, they only have 15 seconds to load the magazine onto the fire, onto the fire gun, and uh, take their sight uh, onto the, uh, the target. And after 15, series, uh, 15 seconds, sorry, uh, then they say attention. And so the match starts. We can just see the face of Stephen Pengali there in the bottom. <laughs> Lime green ear defenders, that's Izzy Bailey's coach. There's a lot of intense concentration during this moment because <laughs> you cannot allow yourself to, to miss anything. So it's a deep concentration and you have to, just like hunting. <laughs> Is he barely with three reds at the moment? There we go, there's a green. So Chief Range Officer's called stop. That's the end of the second series. Uh, so we're at 10 shots down now. And it's Sinraj of India now on seven points. Izzy Bailey and Rahul Jakku are tied for second. And there's also a tie for fourth. Look at that. With Denisuk of Ukraine, with Idon of France, and Stefan Amaka of Switzerland. Nehal Singh of India, then tied with Epson Jensen of Norway, both on two. Certainly some nerves there by the looks of things. I mean, after 10 shots and two hits. It's a bit difficult to, to get a move on and uh, to Next hope uh, going uh, close to the podium. And we'll know in uh, two series the first elimination. So for the moment, we can see that it's uh, Singh from India, which is in danger and also uh, the from Norway, uh, Jensen. Attention. <laughs> Izzy Bailey with a crucial hit there. Takes her up to seven. Sinraj responds though. Now on a total of eight. You can see the recoil from the fire gun at each shot. They have to get back to <laughs> position. It's a real exercise, this kind of uh, shooting. <laughs> 
Yeah, I think that's why I just love it so much. It's So there we go, three series down, 15 shots. As Roman was just reminding us a second ago, the eliminations are coming up thick and fast. They'll be starting in just a second. So Epson Jensen of Norway at the bottom of the scoreboard on three hits. Stefan Amica certainly not safe at the moment from Switzerland on four. And Nihal Singh from India on five. Meanwhile, tie for the top, Singraj from India, along with Rahul Yakar of India, also both on ten hits. So this is where it all begins, really, Roman, in yes. terms of uh, eliminations. This is where you have to to say to, to tell yourself, I don't want to be eliminated. I have to do what I've had, what I have yes. to do, and what I can do. Ready. So Chief Range Officer calls ready. Again, one of the different commands that you get in a 25 meter final compared to the 10 meter pistol and air rifles. Attention! This calls attention, then they have to lower their pistols, then raise them again to make their shots within that three. <laughs> There is some kind of music in this uh, type of uh, shooting because seven seconds uh, in position, three seconds of shooting, you have to control uh, yourself with your emotions, also with your breathing, uh, it's part of your uh, sequence, so uh, everything is uh, just like music with a, a rhythm and uh, you have to, to build your way of shooting uh, with this rhythm. Stop. So there you go, stop has been called. This is it, eighth position, the first elimination. It was looking likely uh, for Jensen of Norway, and that indeed is what's happened. So the first finalist to leave this final in eighth place, representing Norway. There he is, Epson Jensen. Quick wave to the crowd. I think he's disappointed with himself there. Goes over then to take a seat at this very, very, very famous finals hall here in Munich. So many competitions been seen here over the last 49 years. It will celebrate its 50th birthday to commemorate the Olympics that started here on the 26th of August. That was back in 1972 and ran through to the 11th of September. Here's the scoreboard then. Sinraj of India, 13 hits. Uh, we have Rahul Jakar of India on 12. And Izzy Bailey just hanging on in there for Great Britain on 10 at the moment, tied uh, with a Denisuk of Ukraine. So we've got eliminations now after each five shot series so after the next series we'll decide seventh and now in danger there is Gerridon from France and also Stefan Amaker from uh, Switzerland uh, who are both at seven hits so everything may be decided now but we never know maybe there will be a I do love a shoot off in a 25 <laughs> meter it's this is very stressful <laughs> yeah <laughs> I bet <laughs> I just talk about it <laughs> Izzy Bailey with two misses so far. She desperately needs some green. There's another red. That's another miss. She's got two shots left. <laughs> so no next hits for Gary Dunn. Stop. Yeah, our next elimination in seventh place, representing France on firing point G. It's Gaël Edon. How was my pronunciations there, Romain? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, just to make a finals an achievement, isn't yeah. it? That was part of her objective. She wanted to, to do her first uh, P3 event uh, final. She made it, so for her, that's already a victory. And uh, she didn't... Uh, went out uh, at the eighth place, so I think that sh she may be happy. And I'm happy for her. Of course, of <laughs> course, you're part of the team. Okay, so six athletes left. Here's how it looks. Uh, dominance from India at the top there with Rahul Jakar now 
taking the lead from Sinraj. Just one in front. 14 hits is what leads this competition. Here's the next series, and this will be the next elimination. This will decide sixth position. Attention! Singraj and uh, Rahul Jakar, who'd made uh, both uh, uh, great uh, <laughs> uh, with good scores, so uh, this is not uh, really a surprise to see them uh, on top of the board. So I think that uh, they will uh, continue <laughs> the, the, the board and uh, leading the final, as they have uh, lots of experience and uh, big technical. Uh, um, uh, <laughs> so. Uh, I think that uh, it will still uh, be like this uh, until the end, but we never know. That's it. <laughs> so Amica there started with a hit. As a <laughs> Bailey with four misses, desperately five needs misses. five misses now. Yeah, that's not a good well, series at all for Rizzy Bailey of Great Britain. So we have our next elimination then. This is sixth position. There's Stefan Amaker of Switzerland. Gets a big cheer as well. Waving of the Swiss flag as well from the crowd. He seems happy with that. Sixth position in this final. As we've just been saying, even just to make a final at this standard in a World Cup, uh, you're doing very, very well. Here we go then. So we're down to the final five. Izzy Bailey of Great Britain is two behind Nihal Singh of India. Aleski Denisuk of Ukraine on 14. And then look at the two Indian shooters, as Roman said. He thought these two would lead the way, and now they're both tied for first position, both on 16 hits. You've just got to keep consistent. It's whoever makes a mistake now at this stage of the final. And still no shoot-off. <laughs> and still no shoot-off, yes. see there look as you say going through the motions the routine the breathing and preparation the slight movements Attention. everything's a repetition yes <laughs> he looks down I think he's missed that So Rahul Jaka on 17, now up to 18. So and Sinraj, they're both on, on 18. They started this series both on 16. They remain tied. Isibele unfortunately didn't make it. Yeah, indeed. Here's our next elimination in fifth place. There's Izzy Bailey. She had yes. the fourth. Uh, sorry, the, the series just before uh, the one we've just seen. Uh, with five misses, which really didn't help Izzy's cause uh, today. She's a lovely, lovely person. I had a quick chat with her uh, before the final started. Also with her, her coach as well, Stephen Pengali. I'm happy for her because she, it's been a long time. She didn't make a, a final in this uh, event. And um, I know she's had uh, some difficulties to, to, to come back at her level. And today she's done a good job in uh, her match and uh, also in during this final, so I'm really happy for her. Yeah, competed at both Paralympic Games in, in Rio and Tokyo, did Izzy. Okay, no change at the top then. It's Rahul Jakar and Sinraj of India who are both tied on 18. Amazing, really, the calibre of these two athletes and they only got two hits apiece during that last series, as Roman alluded to earlier. It could be a battle between these two, but a nervy one. And also with um, Alexey Denisyuk from Ukraine, who is <laughs> a really great shooter. He's always almost in final, um, uh, many times uh, onto the podium. So he's, <laughs> you know why he's here. So um, 
this is not a surprise that uh, he's still uh, in the um, in the race. Well, in a few moments, we're going to know whether or not India are going to get a one, two, three here. <laughs> Ukraine are ready in front of the medals table. They've got a medal of each colour, a gold, silver and a bronze from day one here at the Munich 2022 WSPS World Cup. Stop. There we go, stop has been called. So yeah, Ukraine are going to get another medal. What colour will be decided in just a second? First of all, leaving the competition in fourth place. Such a cruel place to finish yes. just outside the medals, representing India. That's Nihal Singh finish on a total of 14 hits it's now Denis of Ukraine on 18 We've got Sinraj on 20 and now Rahul Jakar the clear leader on 22 hits there's some daylight then between those two as the crowd rightfully applauds these athletes for this pretty intense final actually it's uh, yes. it's it's, uh, it's really hotting up so uh, that's 40 shots we've only got 10 left uh, unless there is a shoot off i think Let's roman see. is particularly gunning for one of those yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're willing the shoot off to arrive so let's see what happens this next series unless there's a shoot off will decide bronze Attention. We can feel the tension on the shooting range. Yeah, literally the attention. Yes. <laughs> oh, a miss from Ukraine and Sinraj missed and a hit for Rahul Jokka. So he'll be another <laughs> shot in front. Unless the other two could peg it back. There's a whoop there coming from some of the Indian supporters. There is Rahul Jakar, the competition leader. We do love his hat. And it's already decided for Oleg Sidin. <laughs> yes, he can't, he can't catch up now. It's been a great day for Ukraine though, yes. that's another bronze medal, that's one gold, one silver and that's the second bronze medal of the day. He can be very proud. Congratulations. Indeed, yes, representing Ukraine, Alexei Denisuk takes a bronze medal, that's four medals for Ukraine from today. What a haul. He looks a bit disappointed, which is quite normal. Yeah, two shots behind. This is the world, though, of being a professional athlete like that, isn't it? In the sense of uh, being professional in your approach and, yes. and everything, that, you know, and, and adopting that that mindset and and, and and going into the motions and taking it all on in order to be better the next time. Yes. You have also to train yourself and your behavior to 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 be uh, like um, if good or bad uh, you have to be uh, like neutral to the others because yeah. it's part of your preparation indeed yes yeah exactly and not to uh and just be respectful of the fact that there's two athletes still in the competition so then india will get a gold medal it just depends now which athlete is going to pick that up for them here's our two finalists from india Raj on the left and Rahul Jakar, the competition leader on the right. Now this can only draw now. So Rahul Jakar gets a hit. No. no. <laughs> See that? <laughs> Here it comes. Rahul Jakar just needs one more green. And everything is done. And everything is done. There we are. There we go. Three the misses same. in the end from both, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Even three misses at the end can constitute a gold medal, and that's exactly what's happened. So it's a 1-2 for India. Uh, the gold medalist representing India, Rahul Jakar, takes the gold medal in this mixed 25-metre pistol final. There we go.
Oh, I do love that. Look at his smiles. That's brilliant. Superb show. Well done, sir. And representing India, the silver medalist. Uh, there he is, Sinraj, with that hat. Look at that. The pork pie hat, as they call them. The silver medalist. And then joined by the bronze medalist representing Ukraine. Stepping forward, Alexei Denisuk. There was a beautiful final we've been offered. Indeed, yeah, it yes. was. It was exciting right to the end, particularly with those uh, sort of misses towards the end as well, where you <laughs> thought this could now go either way. And <laughs> sure enough, it, it, it just ended up uh, the way it started. But there you go. There's our medalist in front of you. And as you can see on your screen, it's a gold medal for India. Rahul Jakar takes the gold medal in this mixed 25 metre pistol final. We've got Sinraj from India with the silver and Alexei Denisuk from Ukraine for the bronze, uh, giving the crowd a wave just a second ago. Uh, it means uh, Ukraine's medal haul is now up to four. That's two bronze medals, one silver and one gold. That's not a bad day at the office, as they call it, for day one here at Munich at 20, at 22 with the WS at PS World Cup. Well, that's just day one, though, of our, of our coverage. You know, we're sort of delighted to say that we are back. We will be back tomorrow and Sunday and Monday and on Tuesday for the final day of competition. We're hoping, Roman, that your lost luggage, which meant that you couldn't compete today, uh, gets it sorted out at some point. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. The first final is 11.30. That's local time here in Germany for the uh, R6 final. Uh, so very much looking forward to your company if you're able to join us uh, for that one. It would be absolutely splendid, uh, as we say back in Great Britain, if you could come along uh, and join us for that. Uh, so uh, from myself, uh, Rory McAllister, thank you to Roman uh, Ramalingon as well. Thank from, you very from much. France. Yes, I will say um, a bientôt for now. A bientôt. Uh, because, uh, see you soon. Yeah, we will see, exactly. <laughs> we will see each other uh, very soon, hopefully uh, over the next couple of days. And if you don't make a final, which of course we want <laughs> you to, uh, then you're more, more than welcome uh, to join us uh, back here uh, tomorrow. So uh, we'll kick off then with our first final tomorrow. We'll be back with the 50 metre rifle prone uh, as we pack up here from Munich at the end of day one. Thank you very much uh, for joining us for this live coverage for this final and any of the other finals that we brought to you today. Uh, so from myself, Rory McAllister, from Roman Ramalingam, and from the entire team uh, backstage as well that brought this presentation to you. Uh, we bid you farewell for now. We'll see you tomorrow. Cheerio.